UIU file 2020650. -650. Case file, the Miniman. Initial report. Electronic copy below is per Federal Records Act. Summary. Suspect has the ability to create an unknown number of perfect replications of himself, as well as the ability to manufacture a paranarcotic which gives the user temporary use of said abnormality. Suspect description slash capabilities. Name. Elliot Perez. Most common alias. Other names given include Ezekiel Harrington, Jared O'Sullivan, and Kirby Danton. Regularity cross-reference. Italian. Human. Fugitive. Duplication. Paranarcotic. MC and D. Physical description. Sex. Male. Height. 5'11". Weight slash build. 160 pounds. Race. Italian. Hair. Black. Eyes. Brown. Identifying attributes. Dress as well, commonly seen wearing black square glasses. Capabilities. Suspect is capable of creating an unknown amount of perfect recreations of themselves and the ability to manufacture a paranarcotic which gives the user temporary use of said abnormality. Through several arrests of the suspect's duplicates, it has been discovered that each has full sapience and free will. Purpose slash motive. Suspect appears to be operating for the pursuit of monetary gain and power within the high-class paracriminal community. Modus operandi. Suspect primarily collaborates with duplicates of themselves, using their abnormality to aid in the manufacturing and distribution of paranarcotic substances. Behavior. Suspect is said to be extremely charming and intelligent. It should be noted that the suspect maintains a relatively high profile, appearing at most Marshall, Carter, and Dark Social functions selling his products. The suspect is considered armed and dangerous. Agents are recommended to approach the suspect with caution. Evidence A. Recovered Marshall and Carter and Dark documentation of legal substance sold by suspect. The following text documents a paranarcotic manufactured by suspect. Said documentation was recovered by UIU operatives during a raid on a small-scale Marshall, Carter, and Dark auction unrelated to the current investigation. PS5297 slash C3987-5 slash F46A35. Status, selling. Demand, medium. Value, 200,000 USD. 14,363.17 GPB for 1.2 grams. Availability, established supply chain. Identifier, duplication dust. Description. Duplication dust is a powder-based narcotic that, when inhaled, allows the user to painlessly create a perfect duplicate of themselves. The duplicate's mental and physical abilities are the same as the original user. Note that it is not uncommon for duplicates to have been alive for an extended period of time to develop unique personalities. It has been discovered that duplicates are required to inhale 1.2 grams of duplication dust every 24 hours for the effects to persist longer than the period acquired from the first dosage. Marshall Carter and Dark LLP Initial Report Author, Victoria Marshall Date, June 29th, 2018 Interest, Medium Identifier, Duplication Dust I first observed Elliot Perez at one of Father's social gatherings. His charismatic charm showing through as he chatted up with the other attending guests. As the night progressed, I happened to move by him and that's when he introduced himself. Mr. Carter, Ms. Dark, and I exchanged formalities with Mr. Perez. He spoke at length of his rather interesting entrepreneurial endeavors, one of which in particular caught our attention. A paranarcotic, as he put it. And the way he talked so highly of it, anyone could tell it was quite popular, not to mention lucrative. We of course heard him out on this. Mr. Perez says that his so-called paranarcotic has made him quite the fortune, an estimated sum of $250 million. And he was quite insistent with the assistance of Marshall Carter and Dark LLP. He could make himself and the company, the company more so, of course, much, much more. Mr. Carter will finish writing up the contract by next Saturday. File opened under PS5297 slash C3987-5 slash F46A35. Marshall Carter and Dark LLP. Inventory information. IWN45 slash N30S8 
slash 4IGI5. Owner. Marshall Carter and Dark LLP. Quantity. 3,453 crates. Commons. Available from supplier on demand. Owner. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Unusual Incidents Unit. Quantity. 30 crates. Commons. Confiscated from Storage Facility W7. Owner. Elliot Perez. Quantity. In A. Commons. Supplier. Owner. Customers. Quantity. 3,786 grams. Commons. Items commonly purchased for a variety of presumably unscrupulous activities, as well as a novelty party trick. Owner. Others. Quantity. 275 grams. Commons. Entered into circulation prior to establishing exclusivity of supply. You and tracked items believed to exist. Marshall Carter and Dark LLP. Sale records. DS5297 slash C39875 slash F46A35. Records from July 2018 to March 2021. Month, July 2018. Sold, 75. Comments. Supply chain with Mr. Perez is established. Initial item release. Month, August 2018. Sold, 113. Month, October 2018. Sold, 219. Comments. Halloween bump. Month, December 2018. Sold, 431. Comments. Christmas bump, New Year's bump. Month, February 2019. Sold, 153. Month, July 2019. Sold, 175. Month, September 2019. Sold, 190. Month, December 2019. Sold, 491. Comments, Christmas bump, New Year's bump. Month, June 2020. Sold, 82. Comments, massive dip in item production, reason unknown. Month, August 2020. Sold, 893. Month, September 2020. Sold, 101. Month, December 2020. Sold, 189. Comments, Christmas bump, New Year's bump. Month, March 2021. Sold, 43. Comments, item production put on hold due to outside interference. Marshall Carter and Dark LLP. B. Photograph taken after raid on known Marshall, Carter, and Dark storage facility. C. Photograph of suspect taken, March 19th, 2018, at MC&D London auction. Bureau record. Current status, at large. Crimes. Making and dealing of narcotic substances. No creation of a hazardous anomalous object, circulation of anomalous objects, collaboration with a known criminal organization. Sentencing. Indefinite detention. History of UIU action. May 25th, 2020. The UIU is notified of a regular activity around the exterior of Marshall Carter and Dark's Three Portlands auction house. Reports of a large gathering of identical looking individuals entering the auction house carrying several large crates of an unidentified substance are received. June 5th, 2020. A thorough investigation is performed on the suspected irregularity. Through several investigations and interrogation attempts, suspect's irregularity was confirmed and a UIU file was created. A warrant for the arrest of Elliot Perez is issued soon after. June 20th, 2020. Through an anonymous tip, the UIU learns the suspect is using a Marshall Carter and Dark Warehouse to store his anomalous narcotics. UIU agents are sent out to the location of the before-mentioned warehouse 
The location was vacated of the suspect. 30 crates of paranarcotic substances, as well as a helicopter presumably owned by the suspect, were confiscated from the location. December 17th, 2020. Agents are able to track down the location where the suspect manufactures most, if not all, paranarcotic substances. Due to the presence of heavy security, it was deemed that an arrest of the suspect would be prohibitively expensive. An observation post is set up across the street from the suspect's location. Plans as well as resources needed to successfully raid the building and detain the suspect begin being gathered until such a time where detainment is deemed possible. March 28, 2021 UIU agents operating within three Portland's observation posts of Delta notice a gap in suspect's personal security. Authorization by headquarters for agents to move in and detain the suspect is given. Breaking into teams of two, agents move around the building's perimeter, detaining the duplicates present. Half of the agents and attendants remain outside in order to maintain guard over the building's exterior, while the other half enter to apprehend the suspect. Agents take a total of 35 minutes to clear the building. After a thorough search throughout the building, it was concluded that the suspect had vacated the premises, presumably through a complex network of underground tunnels located below the surrounding area. March 28, 2021 Overview Agent Casualties 5. Suspect Casualties 2. Suspects Detained 21. Recovered Documentation Excerpt from a journal owned by the suspect Recovered after the June 20th, 2020 raid on Marshall Carter and Dark Storehouse June 29th, 2018 I feel my hard work is finally paying off was graciously invited to a Marshall Carter and Dark social gathering this evening. I must remember to thank Mara for introducing me. To do. Socialize. Need to extend me to as many circles as possible. Could be useful. Manage to catch MC and D one or all, whichever is most convenient. Try a new drink. Put good things about the mojito. June 30th, 2018. Success. Managed to secure a nice chat with MC and D thanks to, of all things, Mr. Marshall's kid Victoria, lovely young woman. Pitched my product. They seemed quite interested. Interested enough to allow me to have a meeting to secure a meeting in private to discuss the finer details. Try to go for 60%. Do not let them play you for a fool. Going to take these fuckers for all they got. July 2nd, 2018. Good God, these guys are so unbelievably unbearable. Managed to get 53% profit. Should have pushed more. I'm so fucking stupid. May 25th. Shit. Careless, careless, careless. I'm positive those UI useless agents saw us delivering our newest DD shipment. I gotta bring this up with Mr. Carter. Gonna have my head on a goddamn pike. To do. Speak with Carter. Lay low. Use that favor Mara owes you. The following letter was found after a thorough sweep of the network of underground tunnels, found after the March 28th, 2021 raid on suspects 3 Portland's manufacturing plant. For the agents who have decided to fuck everything up, could you not just leave us well alone? Why must you insist on making everything I do so much more difficult? Please do everyone a service, and fuck off. P.S. I want my journal back. How ironic of you to call me a criminal when you insist on stealing all my shit. File update, May 17th, 2026. Notice from the UIU Administration Office. Reports from the Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, indicate that one Elliot Perez and suspected duplicates controls an estimated 80% of all illegal paranarcotic distribution in the major anomalous community. Agents are instructed to await further instructions at this time. D. Goodite, Director, FBI Unusual Incidents Unit.